Lech and Greg Vegan Camp, the 1st of March 2022. The small freezer has uh, three years of warranty, but it has five years of warranty on the compressor. So the compressor failed, or the, some, some of the system in the, behind the compressor failed, so it was changed uh, by Hire company. Now it's working. Let's see how long it lasts. Banana flour dish. Steamed vegetables, steamed carrot from the organic gardens, and some kasawa. Pakadam from Natongbai. Small makrut limes. Manao pen coming up. And next to the Manao pen is a local mango. I don't think I've ever seen this giving fruit. So this is the some local mangoes. The local mangoes, oh, one dropped. But otherwise, yeah, they're coming up also up here. So they have some mangoes on the local mango type trees. Longan's doing quite well. Well, Lam Yai. This year, the avocado tree planted behind the bathroom had some flowers. Let's see if it will have some avocado fruits. Pineapple and pineapple. Mango tree behind the bathroom doesn't have any fruit, no flowers right now. No, normally this gives uh, quite some fruit. Fabian's garden, pineapple and pineapple. We're going into the season of berries. More berries. The yellow bamboo is getting big and nice and cool. But yeah, this mango tree also usually has a lot, but what happened this year is that the mangoes flowered very early and then we had some rain and then they withered or they caught some disease like a blight or I don't know what they call it. It's, uh, it turns black and then some bugs come and eat the flowers and it's like really annoying and, and we need to cu cut off a, a lot of it. Uh, so um, there is... We are still hoping that we will get mangoes. I, I hope that they will um, start flowering soon again and then we might have some late mangoes. But you never know. Let's see what happens. Fiber man, what are you doing? Lend up meat. Lend up meat. Cutting the banana. <laughs> because it died already or it gave fruit? Oh, it gave fruit already had children. We also separated some of the red uh, Cavendish. I think we planted three or four banana plants in the new land nearby. Let's hope we will have a lot of red Cavendish in the future and we will also check out the red Cavendish over there. It's very nice. We planted some potatoes in buckets and it seems that they're doing great here and we have two different buckets. One is just not so much soil in and this one has a little bit more soil in and let's see what happens. It would be nice to have these real white potatoes here in Thailand because it's very rare to, to get some. I know that they have solutions where you can open like a like a have an opening in the bottom and then you can just harvest continuously harvest the potatoes uh, from the, from within the soil like have a door down there but I'm not sure how that works exactly. And the reason why we are doing it in the buckets is that when we plant it in in the soil, it might get attacked by all kinds of insects and uh, yeah, pests. So we try to confine it in a bucket so it has like a more um, confined area because it's not an indigenous species uh, to, to, to Thailand, not, not here. Because they have some species of potatoes, uh, but they are just not as tasty as the European style of potatoes. So let's see what happens if we are able to grow them or not. and. Uh, yeah, but potatoes and they're just so delicious to eat. This is what what happens when uh, Fabian goes out and picks two salad heads. One, two, three, four. Four salad heads instead. Also salad time, salad season a lot. Kartom, Naruto. Naruto. Mm-hmm. 
แล้วก็มิมิเทมเพิลด็อกส์ decided to come here I don't know why they love they like vegan humans apparently Cavendish the charcoal burning project that hasn't started yet but making charcoal with uh, no fumes and like clean burning stuff it's quite exciting to try it out so we can teach people how to make uh, charcoal without destroying the planet so it's cool drying some tamarind as you can see most of the trees don't have any fruit which is very 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 unusual at this time of year all the dead flowers The local mangoes are doing good, but the Namdok Mai are not. Red Cavendish coming up. So actually this uh, Red Cavendish was the one that I showed on the last video when it just had a shoot and I said, ah, that is probably the, the fruit coming. And now after a month or 28 days, it uh, it's, looks quite, quite nice. Because this area is like really good for growing things. I don't know why it's... It's very good for bananas apparently, a lot of moisture and just nice and it grows really well here. The new sun drying domes and there's like a, these ventilators, these fans are running on solar so it's just like directly no battery just direct solar energy so when the voltage goes down or the amperage or the yeah something then they will um, they will just stop and then they will start again when the when the sun comes just put these in a couple of hours ago drying up quite nicely and also there's some jackfruit i don't like dried jackfruit that much it's just not so cool Dried jackfruit seems like it's getting like a little bit of bitter and like overripe taste thing, like tangy something. It's just, just I would I would just eat as much as I can, fresh and raw, and then maybe put some in the refrigerator. The same goes with freezing it. I don't really like it frozen either. So, refrigerator or eating it raw. And and if your if your name is Fabian. Then you would just throw out the jackfruit, keep the seeds, and steam the seeds. That's it. Can you like? If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Pinang, Jurgan, Clip Nakap.